Yikes. Something that the Baltimore Ravens secondary could be missing this year. Let's have a listen to this first question in this episode of questions from subs. It came from my boy Flirt and Whiskey. He said, What's good, bro? It's your boy Flirt and Whiskey back again. It's been a while, and I know this is a different email, but I got my masters and they shut my edu email down. Oh, look at that boy with that little humble brag right there. Hey, congrats on getting your masters, man, because uh, I like. That's a lot of work, man. That's a lot of work. One of, one of my boys that I know, he just got his masters too. Cause I, at first I was like, um, we were riding in the car the other day, and I was like, "What? Well, you, you got your uh, your bachelor's, right?" And he's like, "No, no, no, I got my masters." I said, like, "Oh my, my fault, my fault." Cause I know that's a whole nother level. I mean, getting anything, you should celebrate, but you got a masters. That's real deal right there. So congrats to you, man. Uh, anyway, he said we know Marlon Humphrey is solid, but he doesn't get too many picks. He does have a lot of pass breakups, but he has that Bama sickness where he can't turn his head. LOL, just like Anthony Averitt. I think with Alabama corners, they um they are known to play the receiver and not the ball. Um, so they don't produce a lot of interceptions like well, some of I can't speak for every single one, but that's what a lot of them are known for. They're known for being physical and playing the receiver instead of playing the ball. Uh, and that's how Marlon Humphrey is. Marlon Humphrey is like, hey, I may not get a pick, but you ain't going to have a reception. Or even if you do get a reception, I'm trying to knock that thing out. But anyway, let's continue. Uh, he said, but with the Ravens seeming like they are going to go with Rocky Scene instead of bringing back Marcus Peters, do you think that's a little too mild? Mild, what you mean when you say mild? Well, let's continue. He said, Rocky Cena's solid, but we are missing a playmaker. Maybe I got used to Peters, I guess, but turnovers is the Ravens' culture on defense. Shoot, maybe Rocky Cena has a pick six season since the Michigan Twins are going to go crazy with the pass rush. I'm speaking into existence, LOL, but what do you think? Ah, that's interesting. That's it. That's, I didn't really think about that. Um... Because when you look at, uh, we know Marlon Humphrey, we know what he can do. Rocky has seen, um, just missing that playmaking ability. I, I looked over his career numbers, and he has, uh, in four years, he's been playing since 2019. Uh, so you've played four years in the league, but he has uh, two interceptions and two forced fumbles. Um, now, he averages like seven, eight pass breakups per season. Um, so that's solid. But as far as missing... That playmaking ability, missing a playmaker. Well, um, I feel like with the Ravens secondary, I mean, with, with the cornerback specifically, if we just talk of the cornerback specifically, again, Marlon Humphrey, we know what he's capable of. But opposite him, yeah, like you did talk about, you, you probably got a little used to Marcus Peters um, and everything that he can do. And I feel like with Marcus Peters, he spoiled us. Uh, I, maybe not last year, but before he... <laughs> But no, he spoiled us. And with Marcus Peters, it was that expectation. Like, oh, yeah, he going to get a turnover. He going to get at least like four turnovers a season, something like that. Whether it be a fumble recovery, whether it be picks, that's what we were usually expecting. But that was the expectation that he set because that's what he had done throughout his career. He was known as a turnover machine. Again, minus last year, but he was known as a turnover machine. Um, and it's, it's not... Not that it's not fair, because it's the business. But I was going to say it's not really fair to compare other corners to him. But since we had Marcus Peters for a little while, then we're going to compare other corners that the Ravens have to him. But, see, this is why um, it's important that you talked about the pass rush. That's going to be important, too, because that'll help the secondary, and that'll help get turnovers, too. But the turnovers can come from so many different places. We saw Marcus Williams last year, and that boy was balling, man. I, I man, if he wouldn't have got hurt in that Bengals game, man, uh, if he would have played the whole season, he would have led the league in interceptions for sure. He would have led the league in interceptions definitely. We saw Kyle Hamilton; he turned into a playmaker throughout the season. And that was a beautiful thing. Uh, we saw Roquan Smith. <laughs> my, my, minus that uh, Steelers game where, where Najee Harris caught that game with a touchdown on him from Kenny Pickett. But we saw Roquan Smith, and we know he can ball. He can help create some turn. Patrick Queen as well. So just because it wouldn't really be expected to maybe come from Rocket scene, it doesn't mean that we don't 
need to expect it to come from the Ravens' defense as a whole. Because like you mentioned, that which is true, their defense is known. The, the, the turnovers are, are the Ravens' culture on defense. And, yeah, that's true. They known to, to produce turnovers, get turnovers. That's what they do. I know they had a streak for the longest. I think it broke recently, but they had a streak for the longest where they the defense had got at least one turnover uh, for, like, so long. Um, and I, I don't even remember how many games it was. I know one of y'all will definitely remember, but that that's like a serious streak right there. Like, hold up now. Um, but with that being said, uh, there's also a lot of unknown in the secondary because uh, you did talk about. Uh, oh, here let's finish because he also said it's, it's also kind of funny how the league works. We let go of Anthony Averett and grabbed the guy that he replaced. Um, you think Jalen Armour Davis will be the exception to the Bama sickness like Diggs? If so, that will be elite. Yeah, that's why we had to clear that up earlier. It's not every Bama cornerback. It ain't every single one. Yeah, with, with Diggs, yeah, he get plenty of picks. That dude is the Marcus Peters of the NFC South. Um, and he said, uh, but as always, hope all is well with you and yours. And like Peters is and J- <laughs> good. He said, and like Peters is and JK is about to be because Hobbs is a soft version of Belichick. I'm out. This guy, man. But anyway, um, with the secondary, we're talking about it, it's just it's a lot of unknown there. Um, so we got to hope that those guys can be playmakers. Like Jalen Alma Davis, we'll see what, it, what happens with him. Pepe Williams uh, with uh, the possible slot cornerback. Oh, I can't. I, I just thinking of the, who used to be a safety that got as an undrafted free agent. Oh, Darius Washington. There we go. Oh, Darius Washington. Um, Caillou Blue Kelly. Uh, Daryl Worley. Kevon. Like, it's Ravens have some options, but they have so much unknown right now. So, hopefully, that unknown combined with a lot of guys that we do have that are known, that can continue Ravens' legacy. We're getting a lot of turnovers and playmakers on defense. And this next question also came from my boy, Flirt Nowinski. He said, also, with J.K. Dobbins being on the rocks, do you think he's going to be traded? We see what the Peters and Hobbs beef did. Oh, um, that's that's a real question right there, man. Um, I think if he requests it, then it'll certainly be granted because we know Eric DaCosta, like, he's, if you say you want to be traded, Eric DaCosta will be like, okay, bye, see you. You out of here, like if you really want to be traded, man. If it's not just a business move, if you're not in like contract negotiations heavy for the past couple of years, and then you put out that you want to be traded, not that kind of want to be traded, but you like really, really want to be traded, then Eric DeCosta be like, oh, okay, cool, see ya, and he'll say, hey, we we don't want guys that don't want to be here, and da da da, da and he'll get rid of you. You see Hollywood, you see Orlando Brown Jr., Hayden Hurst, Chuck Clark, and there's more too. Um, but anyway. With J.K. Dobbins, yeah, I think if, if he wants to be, he will be. Um, as far as an extension, I, I don't see it happening right now. I, I don't see this thing with J.K. Dobbins and the Ravens business side. I don't see it really being resolved. But I could see him just playing, playing and just being like, all right, wait, well, whatever's going to happen, going to happen. Um, so we'll, we'll see. But he also continues, said, J.K. has been very vocal about his use, uh, from, about his use and about coaches, et cetera. Uh, we have drafted two broke man's JK two years in a row, and we pay Gus a good amount of money. And the fact that the value of running back is at an all-time low is looking kind of iffy with JK forcing their hand. Also, with the new offense, what do you think? Yeah, that's another thing, too, that um, it's going to be tough for him, man. He is in such a tough put, and, and I know he, he got to be frustrated, man. That's like, those are some of the most toughest situations where – you know what you want to do, but you're limited in what you can do. And you're limited in the control that you have over your current situation. And obviously, yeah, you, it's easy to say, go out there and make the best of it. It's easy to say that, but to do it is tough, especially when it's frustrating. And then the business side is involved. And yeah, JK is in a real, real tough position. Um, but that's, I feel like that's the only thing he can. I mean, he, he could also request a trade and go to somewhere where or hope to go to somewhere because i know he, he obviously ain't got no no trade clause in his contract uh he was just a, a second round pick in what 2020 i think but he ain't got no no trade clause in his contract uh you don't get those until your second um your second contract and he's still on his first i, I mean and those are not even guaranteed that you get those uh it all just depends but he's in a tough situation man 
I he's in a real tough situation. Uh, so again, he could just play and be like play through it, or he could request to be out and just hope he goes to a team that will use him more. I mean, and we don't know how it's gonna be yet, but I, I don't expect J.K. to be getting. 15 20 carries again i just i don't expect it with this offense the way that i expect this offense to go especially with him sharing the backfield with gus edwards too um and whatever other running back they may have back there but primarily him sharing with gus edwards i don't expect him to get 15 20 carries a game and 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 five to six catches i just I, i don't see it for him um so but we'll see he said, although we thought the hate would stop once the deal got done, but did you notice how Lamar said running will only get you so far in today's game uh, since it's a passing league now? They reached and spun it saying he was talking about him running and started back up the can he stay healthy? It isn't sustainable, blah, blah, blah. While Josh Allen is the leading rusher for his team doing head up with defensive tackles. But anyway, I just thought that was funny, but I'm... Um, out. Oh yeah, I mean you already know what time it is with Lamar. Well, whatever Lamar says it is going to be spun into a negative, and it's going to be spun into something bad about him. Like even like the the six thousand yards thing. I feel like everybody knew like Lamar was just one of those things where you just exaggerating a bit, and you like you like joking or whatever, but you just talking about something that you're excited about, like in, like really with anything. And, and and when they, when he said, "Oh yeah, we, we want to throw for like six thousand yards," and there were people like, "Get oh, Lamar, get Lamar throw for six thousand yards? He can't even throw for three thousand nine. Like, really? What? But you know, people gonna be people. Yeah, 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 yeah,